hey guys hope you all are well so in this tutorial you are going to learn about the prestige of back office so we'll see how we can manage or change the content of the front office from the admin side or back office of the prestige shop so are you guys ready so let's start the today's tutorial i'm just opening the prestige shop projects on a xam server so you will see the front office of the prestige shop so here we can change the content of this front view so let me show you how we can change the logo of the prista shop so just go to the dashboard then here you will see the improve section in the improve section you will see the design then click on a theme and logo then you will see the header logo so just click on a browse then just select one image logo image whatever you want okay i'm just selecting one random image then click on a save so here setting is updated so let me show you the updated prista shop logo so i'm just refreshing this page so here you will see the updated logo so as like this you can change any of the content of this front view so if you want to change the module position like prista shop provides us the different modules so you will see this is one first slider is one module then next popular products is one module then next one is the banner this is one module so all these modules are hook on a particular position so there are different hooks that are available in a prista shop so if you want to change the position of this module so i'm just swapping the position of the of these two modules so just go to the setting then click on a position in the design section so all these modules are hook on a particular position so the all these home page modules are hook on a display home hook so i'm just searching display home so you will see the display home hook so all these four modules are hook on a home page so i'm just changing the position of the image slider so just i'm dragging that image slider module and drop on a second position so your updation is successful let me show you the updated module position so i'm just refreshing the page so here you will see the popular products is one first module and this slider is become a second module so as like this you can change the position of the modules also you can add a new module and hook on a particular position so prista shop contains the different hooks also you can create a new hook also we'll see in the next tutorial about hook also you can change the product setting also so if you want to change a uh, product image product price product discount price then you will also change that product setting also so let me show you how we can change the discount price so just go to the admin side and select catalog under catalog you will select product then here you will see all these products of the prista shop you can add a new product also by clicking clicking on new product option so i'm just updating the discount price of the particular product so here is the product so i'm just updating the last product discount price so just click on edit icon here you will see the product setting here there are different types are available like combination shipping pricing seo so just click on a pricing 
then scroll down the page here you will see the discount price so i want to update this so just click on edit icon then scroll down the page here you will see the apply account of sorry discount of so just i am updating the 30 percent discount click on apply then click on a save let me show you the preview of this page so here you will see the updated discount price so save 30 percent off so let me show you this is the product page and this is the front view so you will see the updated discount price so as like this you can change any of the content of the product or any of the model so this is very user friendly for admin so admin can handle or manage the content of the front office or change the content of the front office at any time so prestashop provides us the better functionality and features and which is very beneficial for admin so also admin can change or add new categories attributes and features then also can manage the stock also there are different modules are there then also can manage the different pages then there are shop parameters as well so admin can handle all these properties or features so this is all over about the prestashop back office so if you have query or any doubt then just ping me in a comment box or if you if anyone who still haven't subscribed my youtube channel then just click on a subscribe button and please like share and comment this video so goodbye take care happy coding